pictures. Even when they're magnified, it's hard to see their pictures. They're tiny infinitesimal, so small it makes you doubt. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. The tin can. Well, what else goes? A flashlight. It's good to have when you're camping. Listen, Tom Thomas, just leave a little room for me in there. I'm good to have when you're camping, too. I'll leave you some room. Just hide in there so Dad won't see you. And you can't tell Simka anything about me going with you. All right. And last on the list, a few cans of meat. Hi, Tom Thomas. Have you seen Nolik? No. Then who did I just hear you talking with? I, uh... I was just reading the label. Huh. Where did Nolik run off to? Simka, do you know... Um, how come these cans have no way to open them so you can taste what's inside? What do you mean? Don't you know what makes canned food special? It comes in a can. <laughs> the thing that's special about canned food is that it can get stored a long time without spoiling. You see, meat and vegetables spoil when harmful bacteria start multiplying inside of them. So, if you can get rid of the bad bacteria or stop them from getting into the food, the food will last a long time. That's why jars and cans are sealed very tightly. This stops harmful bacteria and air from getting inside and spoiling the food. So you're telling me that Nolik's not here, right? He's really not here. <laughs> Who is that? Where? <gasps> All right, now I remember. There's another can I should take with me. There's something fishy happening here. Hey, guys. My mom threw this can out a long time ago, but I hid it for later. I knew I'd use it someday. And who were you talking to when you said guys? Moi? Uh, you're here and I'm here and... That's two of us. Look at this great can I got. There's nothing great about it. Put it down on the floor. You see? What? Oh, it's crooked, and so what? So what? It's all swollen. And when it's like that, you know that inside the can, bad bacteria is growing and spoiling the food that's in there. It went bad? There's a way to check. On every single can, you can find the date it's good until. Sooner or later, even canned food will go bad. And of course, dairy foods like yogurt or milk can spoil in just a few days. When you buy food in the store, it's very important to always check the expiration date. The expiration date's the last day that it's safe to eat that food without worrying that it may have gone bad. You can find the expiration date on each box, jar, or can of food, so pay attention. And be very careful not to buy or eat any food after its expiration date has passed. And if you see that a can is swollen, throw it away immediately. If you eat it, your belly can swell up too. Unfortunately, when food spoils, it's impossible to unspoil it, and then even the fixies won't be able to help. Oh, my mom probably saw that this can went bad over a year ago. That's why she threw it into the trash. Right. Shame on you for picking it out of there. You could have poisoned yourself and poisoned your dad as well. Yeah. And the other cans, are they swollen too? They're fine. Goodbye then. It's a shame I couldn't find Nolik around here. Papus wants to give him a brand new pack of mat as a present. To me? 
Aha, I gotcha. <laughs> I had a feeling you would try to sneak away in Tom Thomas's bag. You lied. That's not fair. And hiding. That's fair, right? Tom Thomas, are you ready? I'm ready. Great, then let's get going. Hooray! We're going camping. <sighs> I want to go camping, too. Don't worry, I'll go camping with you. Really? Really, really, really. To that house outside our window. See how huge it is? Toasters, MP3s and TV screens, even roller coasters. Without them, clocks stop ticking. Without them, lights go out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. The piggy bank. That's not what I'm doing. I'm storing it. This is a piggy bank. Oh, here's another coin. I don't like its snout. That's one very suspicious looking pig. Are you positive your money's safe with her? Don't worry. Whatever I put into my bank here is not getting back out. This piggy bank won't give up a cent. You greedy piggy. Come on, Nolik. Simka must have taught you about how banks work. <laughs> Humans came up with the idea of piggy banks because they wanted a good place to save their coins. For storing lots of money, people use a safe, a large metal box with a very strong lock. Now that kind of piggy bank's almost impossible to break open. The biggest safes are in banks. Banks use them to store their customers' money and other valuables. There are even safes in banks that are whole rooms. You'd need an awful lot of change to fill up one of these piggy banks. So why are you saving up all this money? For roller skates. How much more do you need to save? I don't know. I can't see if there's enough in there. Then just go and open it. But there's no way to do that. The only way is to smash it real hard. So smash it. Nyeh, -uh, forget it. I have nothing to put my money into. But what if there's already enough for roller skates? And what if there's not? All right, then I guess I'll count your money for you. different kinds of money. And they're not just coins, either. Long ago, people paid each other with shells and squirrel skins and even parrot feathers. And, of course, metal coins are more convenient than any of those things. And paper money is even more convenient than coins. One piece of paper can be worth as much as a hundred coins or even a thousand. All that needs to be done is to print more zeros on it and that's all. Today, humans can pay for almost anything without paper money or coins whatsoever. If you have enough money in the bank, you can just walk into a store, give the cashier your bank card, and take your purchase home with you without handing over any money. The bank knows how much money you spend, and they pay the store for you later. It's so convenient. So, will you count them? Here we go. One coin! And two coins? Wait, Nolik, what one coin, two coins? What are you counting? You have to add together all of the different numbers. Huh, you should have told me that before. Uh, I never learned how to. Yeah, that's what I figured. Come on out. What can I do? What if you try stacking the coins so they're like stairs? That's what I'm already doing! Oh, oh, ah! Why don't you try tilting the piggy bank over? Hang on. Stop! I'm getting buried! Put it back the way it was before! This is worse! Ah! Just put the pig down! No, look. Hang in there, 
please, I'll get some thread and lower it down to you. I can't get a hold of it. It's too far away. Hey, Tom Thomas, smash the piggy bank. What? Just smash your piggy bank. But I like it. And what, you don't like me? Of course I like you. Well, who do you like more? You're my friend, aren't you? Of course. Then smash the piggy bank, will you? Okay, Nolik. I'm gonna do it. Nolan, are you okay? I'm okay. <sighs> Thank you, Tom Thomas. Thank you, my friend. No problem. At least now you can count up how much money you have. Nah, there's no reason to do it. There's no way it's enough for roller skates. You sure? What a shame. But now you've got all of this money here to buy a piggy bank that's totally brand new. Even when they're magnified, it's hard to see their features. They're tiny infinitesimal, so small that makes you doubt. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. The globe. Ready? Set? Go! <laughs> oh! Yay! Oh, oh. Again, I couldn't do it. I told you, there's just no way to hold on when the globe is turning that fast. But I know I can do it. Hmm. Give me that piece of rope there, would you? <sighs> now you can't throw me off. Spin it! Go on. <laughs> What you doing? Trying to learn a bit about the Earth's gravity? That's a globe, not the Earth. Well, a globe's a model of the Earth, isn't it? Hey, come on, Simka. The globe looks like a ball, but the Earth is flat. We walk on it. The Earth also looks like a ball. It's just a very, very big one. It's not true. If the Earth is really round like you say, then it would throw people right off of it, like the globe does to me. No, it's just that the Earth pulls everyone towards it. Are you sure? The planet that we live on, the Earth, is a huge sphere. The Earth revolves around the Sun, and the Moon revolves around the Earth. Do you know why they don't fly away from each other? It's because of a force called gravity that pulls all objects towards each other. The heavier the object, the stronger its pull. That's why people, rocks, air, and water get pulled towards the Earth instead of floating up into space. Thanks to gravity, we are able to walk on the Earth. Why doesn't the globe pull on me like the Earth does? Because this globe is very light. Compared to the Earth, this globe is like millions of billions of times lighter. Compared to the Earth, we're specks of dust. He's right. Look, a speck of dust. It sticks to the globe like we stick to the Earth. Oh, come on. It's just because no one's turning it. But the Earth's spinning and we stick to it. What? I just don't believe you. There's just no way the Earth is spinning. You've really got no idea how the days all turn into the nights, do you? Do too. It's because the sun goes up and then sets. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. Our sun's here, and you're over there. On Earth. Is it dark, Nolik? It's dark. Then it's nighttime on your side. And here, it's day. All right. Now we'll turn the Earth. Hooray! Now it's daytime for me, and night for me over here. Ah, my side got dark again. And for me, it's a new day. All right, fine. You guys were right. I believe you. The Earth is spinning. <laughs> The Earth 
goes round and round like a tilted spinning top. And as it spins, the sun shines its light on whichever half of the Earth is facing it. And as the Earth makes one full turn, we watch how the night becomes day and the day becomes night again. It takes 24 hours for the Earth to make one full turn. But that's not all. The Earth is also traveling in space around the sun. It takes the Earth one year to make a full circle. As it goes along its way, the top and bottom of the Earth take turns being closer to the sun. That's because the Earth is tilted. When the top half is closer to the sun, it's summer there. While at the very same time on the bottom half, it is winter. And when it is winter on the top half, it is summer on the bottom. Nolik! Nolik, where are you? I'm not sure. Somewhere in Kazakhstan. The force of gravity is super strong around here. So go on, spin it! You're gonna fall off, Nolik. Don't worry, just do it! Go ahead and tilt it if you feel like it. Told ya! Ha! And you were sure I was gonna fall off this globe. That's strange. Nolik, come on over here. What for? You'll see in a second. I don't want to. You really don't want or you can't. Tom Thomas, take a look. <laughs> I get it. He stuck himself to the globe, didn't he? Yeah, with the chewing gum. Isn't it time to go? Uh-huh. And me! Well, what about me? Hey! Ah! Uh, you gotta help me. Don't leave me. Should we help him? It, but the pull of chewing gum is even stronger than the Earth's gravity. I almost caught one yesterday. I chased him by the flood. But if I told my daddy, he'd say, It's, it's all inside, inside your head. head. You really cannot catch them. Or find their whereabouts. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let The disguise. Ugh, good. Tom Thomas, why do you need a second aquarium? Especially without any fish. First of all, it's a terrarium. And it's not for fish, it's for lizards and snakes. Ooh. My friend Katya asked me to take care of him while she's away. That's why I brought him here. Take care of who? There's no one in there. Ah! What is that? <laughs> it's a chameleon, Nolik. I think he's awesome. It's a bad idea to take him out. He might run away. Don't you worry. I got him. What a monster. But how come I couldn't see him before? It's because a chameleon knows how to disguise himself by changing the color of his whole body. <laughs> Have you ever seen a military uniform? They have special patterns and colors that help soldiers hide. That's called camouflage, and people learned it from animals. For instance, a caterpillar can look like a twig, and a seahorse can look like a piece of coral. An ordinary gray rabbit becomes white in the winter, so a wolf will have trouble finding it in the snow. But the champion of camouflage is the chameleon. This master of disguise can change its color in just a matter of seconds. Hey, Tom Thomas, where'd your chameleon go? Oh, it disappeared. It didn't disappear, it camouflaged. He won't hide for long. Let's find him. <laughs> Chusaka, have you seen the chameleon? Where is he? See him? No, he's not gonna let us catch him. We're gonna have to, to trick him into coming to us. Uh-huh. We can set a trap with something that he likes. What do they like, I wonder? What else? Their food. And what do chameleons eat? Well, 
like flies or caterpillars, roaches. Where's the fly gonna come from? Well, what if... What? Oh, Simka, just you wait. I'm gonna get you. Hey, we gotta help Katya. You don't see the caterpillar complaining. Quiet. Nolik, you start buzzing. Buzzing? Yeah, like a fly. Yeah, and flap your wings, too. Simka, how long do I gotta keep doing this? Until the chameleon shows himself. Just keep buzzing. and colors that make them blend into their surroundings, and even fly in special planes that can't be seen by radar. They do everything they can to disguise their location. But it's not just the army that uses disguises. Photographers camouflage themselves to take pictures of wild animals. People use makeup to camouflage their blemishes. And artists, they disguise old walls with bright, happy pictures. And people just love to put on masquerade parties where they disguise themselves in costumes and masks. And of course, fixies have their own great disguise. Remember? Well, what is it? Now he won't run away. So, Mr. Master of Disguise, what are you gonna say now? If only I could disguise myself that well. Nolan, what are you talking about? You know how to disguise yourself a hundred times better than him. Ah, oh, you're right. Hey, chameleon, look and learn. Here's a real disguise. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their 